car at the bottom of the cliff and think Barzak was killed. Come on. Gully John was sure lucky that time. I'll say he was. It doesn't look like Barsack was. Not if he was in that burning car. He must have lost control right after the fire started. Oh, sure, let's not worry about Barsack. Let's get down and see if we can help Don. Come on, come on, wake up. Hi, Barsack. Glad to see you got here. I'm glad to be here. Come on, come on. Mine makes a good front for our operations. secret of the place. An underwater tunnel leads from here out to the ocean. Strikes me as a perfect submarine base. Especially with our undersea oil well to refuel the subs. It's the only place like it in the world. Our master, the Scorpion, deserves a lot of credit for discovery. Zach, here you had a little trouble getting here. Yeah, thanks to our good friend Winslow. It's a scorpion. M22. I can't understand your stupidity in permitting the Beratavia to unload supplies for the new naval base. Neither should Winslow have been allowed to identify Barsak. But we'll discuss your mistakes later. Now, there is important work to be done. The SS Talton carrying a load of gun mountings and a million dollars in gold is due north of Tenjita tomorrow morning. The ship is to be captured as a decoy for our submarines. The gold must be removed for my use. Communicate with my agent Kramer, a passenger aboard the Talton. He will give you further instructions. Those are my orders, M22. See that they are obeyed. Barzak. See the Riker gets the Z-37 ready for action. What about Winslow's destroyer? 620 is a problem. It would help a lot if we knew Winslow's plans. Maybe we can find out at the listening post. It's a good idea, Prendel. We'll go over there at once. Message from Captain Holding, sir. What is it, Don? Read it. SS Tarleton will be in Tangita Danger Zone at 8 a.m. the 27th. Freighter carries gun mountings and million dollar gold shipment. Meet ship with destroyer 620 and convoy are beyond area of submarine activity. 27th? Well, that's tomorrow. Yes. We're leaving for convoy duty at midnight. It's important work, but I don't like being interrupted on this island, John. Well, it makes no difference, my lad. You've bungled it so far. Huh? Oh, I resent that, Mike. Yeah, Blake's been able to keep going with his work on the new naval base without any more sabotage. Sure, and that's true. 
but you handled that bar sack wrong. You let him get away without finding out anything about the Scorpion's hideout. We're not through with Barsack yet. I don't get you, Don. Barsack is dead. Yes, but his luggage is still at the hotel. We'll go over there tonight and take a look at it. We may find a clue among his personal effects that'll lead us to the Scorpion's headquarters. Turn it off. Winslow's convoying the Tarleton isn't going to help the Scorpion's plans any. I have an idea Winslow won't be any place near the Tarleton. But he just said he was... He also said he was going to examine Barsack's luggage. If he does, he'll find something that'll throw him off the track. Spike... I want you and Corley to take this note to the hotel. And we've got to get into Barsack's room at the hotel without anyone finding out what we're up to. Well, that's fine, lad, but I'll creep up no dark alleys nor shinny up any posts. I'm too old for second story work. We'll rent a room. Now, why didn't I think of that in the first place? No, 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 that won't do it. I Mr. think... Mr. Cunningham, Mr. Gay's compliments, sir. Won't you take it to dinner? I've got it. Misty, you're just in time. Would you mind repeating that? Red says I'm always late. I'd like you to go to your room at the hotel. But, Don, we just came from there. And Red promised to now, take Now, don't me. argue, girls. This is important. You'll be receiving callers in just a few minutes. Wait a minute. There's Barsax. Give me the pass key. There it is. Hi, Missy. Hi, Missy. Careful, no one sees you. Barsack suitcase. Did you see two? Did we? They practically knocked us over. They ran down the hall. Did Winslow swallow the bait? I don't know. He pretended thieves broke in Miss Gay's room. Spike, are you sure Winslow didn't see you plant that note? He couldn't see me. My back was to the closet he was hiding in. I don't see what good it'll do even if he does find the note. That's what we're going to find out. Corley, take that key. Slip into that empty room next to the girls and keep your ears open. Look at this. What is it? The SS Mordania is to be torpedoed at 8 o'clock on the 27th, a short distance south of Tangita. It is your duty to see that the ship cargo of munitions does not reach its destination. Oh, terrible. The worst part of it is we have orders to meet the Tarleton at the time the Mordania is to be torpedoed. Come in. Chapman just got a message from the Tartan. She'll be due north of Tangier at 8 o'clock in the morning. Thanks, Mike. What's that? Oh, don't worry about that. This old place is full of creepy sounds. <laughs> oh, I see. What are we going to do about the Mordania, Don? We are going to protect the Mordania. Inform Grady that we sail within the hour. But, Don, Captain Holding... That's us, an order, Lieutenant Pennington. Aye, aye, sir. Winslow's taking the 620 south immediately to help the Mordania. Their scheme worked, M-22. Now we can take over the Tarleton without interference from Winslow on the 620. Good. We'll get back to headquarters and send the Z-37 on its way. Orzak, we've just received further instruction from the Scorpion. 
You are to accompany Riker on the Z-37. You will transfer to the top and take command of the ship. Very well, M-22. You and Riker better get started. Contact Kramer when you reach your position. M-22. Take a look. It's the 620, all right. And she's sailing south. By the time Winslow discovers the Tom's in trouble, he'll be too far away to do any good. Marco, lower the upper periscope. And there's nothing Winslow can do to stop her. Sir, I can't understand Commander Winslow deliberately disobeying Captain Holding's orders to convoy the Tarleton. Doesn't seem like him, Lieutenant. He'll be after getting himself court-martialed, I'm thinking. Ready? Yes, sir. Change course to due north. We're meeting the Tarleton to convoy. Aye, right, sir. Change course to due north. Aye, right, sir. But, Don, what about the Mordania? The message about the Mordania was a blind. She got us away from the Talton so she could be raided. What makes you think that? Well, that message wasn't in Barsack's suitcase when I first looked through it. It was planted there later by an agent. And you gave me those orders about the Mordania so that any Scorpion agents listening would think you'd fallen for their trick. Right. Hey, <laughs> golly, you know a trick or two yourself, don't you? <laughs> Sparks has contacted Captain Sam one of the Talton by radio commander. Good. Tell Sandman to hold his course and then to stand by to pick me up. I'm going to transfer to the Tarleton to direct operations. All right, sir. <laughs> and when we found the message about the Mordania, I realized it was a blind to leave the Tarleton unprotected. So you see, Captain Sandman, I figured we could capture those submarine pirates if I came aboard your ship. Good idea, Commander, and count on me for the fullest cooperation. Thank you, Captain. Well, Barsak, there's the Tarleton. Good. Radio Kramer on board ship. We've reached our position. And to go ahead as planned. The Z-37? They're standing by you to start operations. We'll signal them as soon as we've taken over the ship. Tell the others to take the positions I assigned them. Hurry up, men. On deck. You better move up closer. It's okay. Good 
Good work, boys. Everything went just as the Scorpion planned. First, we'll transfer the gold to the C-37. This ship is to be outfitted as a decoy for our submarines. I'm to take command, you know. Okay, Commander. Hey, boss, Act, the 620 wants us to confirm Winslow's message to come within hail. Winslow's message? That must have been the message the operator was sending when I shot him. Go back to the sub. Tell Riker to remain on our starboard side and get ready for action. Confirm that call, Bart. Tell the 620 to come within hail on our port side. When the destroyer gets within range, Riker can nose around our bow and torpedo her. Start sending. Kramer and I'll take over the wheel. Bye. Commander Winslow confirmed the call, sir. Wants us to come within hail at once. Well, then, let's get ready for action. Change the course. Steer northeast. Forget, Mike, me boys. You're only along by special permission. I'll you. I knock you. The Thompson's between the sub and the destroyer. When the 620 gets close enough, Riker will cut right across the Tartan's bow and let the destroyer have it. Right. We better go forward and man the gun, in case there's any slip-up. traveling full speed ahead. That was no salute. Something must have happened to Don. Fire control? They fire again, let them have a broadside. But sir, Commander Winslow's aboard that ship. I don't know how you feel, Lieutenant, but it must be duty before friendship. Take it easy, laddie. Don would want it that way to you. Firing. 